Hey, you. Yeah. I'm gonna say, did you predict no. this? <laughs> Good. No, like, oh, okay, I, I'll be totally honest. St. Elmine is a good candidate that I saw coming someday. I was not predicting it soon. Hello. <laughs> and welcome, KP. I can say I somewhat predicted it. I guess we would get an eighth legend from okay. the Elite games. Okay, at least... Uh, that's somewhat. That's that doesn't even count. That's barely I mean, a guess. To be well, I fair, guess we get somebody from the Elite Legends, and I was right. To be fair, if we're not doing the normal gods, you have to kind of look at the heroes of yore, and the Eight Legends are some of the best developed. Of okay, I mean, at least it's better than R because when R came out, I didn't even like. Yeah. There's an R. <laughs> I had no I'm idea. I mean, I'm glad it's Elamine though, because of course they use Saul and. He loves Elamine, so I love her too. Yeah, Uller was uh, right out of left field. I mean, I guess they all technically have better established designs, but fun fact, St. Elmine actually did have official art before this. So oh, just, yeah, it please was show kind of me. Like all it's like where yeah. it wasn't like, super developed. It was just like a, not like a, like it was, you were able to see what she would look like though. Okay. Yeah, so at least there was something going into this one. All right, whenever you're ready to show it off. But yeah, chat. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, we'll Double checking. This is our first healer support hero, right? As yes. a there are mythic. There no mythics or legendary heroes. Also, yeah, so it is a fresh concept, it. but it, it feels weird because it's like we had legendaries and mythics for so long now. It took them this long to make a healer. Yeah. It's so weird that it took this long. But, I mean, especially with mythics, you can only really do these kinds of heroes because... There aren't exactly a lot of legendary staves that they are all wielded by these kinds of units. Right. And it's interesting because they made her a direct upgrade on Flane, who yep. had to happen because that's the most common healer I see on Aetherade's offense. I use her in both seasons. Well, you are Glue Eater, so that's different. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. for, for most people, yeah. Uh, fair enough. This is a direct upgrade on her, so I think from that perspective, this is good. Yep. Absolutely. Alright. No Are you serious? This is our actual art? Yep. You want to guess where this came from? Where? It came from the Mario Kart Double Dash bonus disc. <laughs> Wait, what? This is from Mario Kart? Back when Mario Kart came out, there was a pre-order bonus bonus disc, and uh, one of the things in it was a preview, I believe, of F6. Yeah, that's that why people are making the Mario Kart jokes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? This is in Mar First of all, she looks like she just killed someone, and you witnessed it. It's like you didn't. You didn't even see that. Now I have to kill you too. That's the face it looks like. Are you kidding me? This was a Mario Kart. Some poor kids like confused as heck. <laughs> what the heck? Very strange marketing tactics, but probably worth the time. Oh my god! Yeah, we're gonna see some really goofy um, Faye Reddit stuff, guys. With some, <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. Okay, well, this blows my mind. I can't believe this is real. Her official art. This wasn't in the GBA game itself, though? Oh, yeah, it would oh, be no. pixelated. They, yeah, they, they also changed her outfit from this, like, quite a bit, too. Yeah. yeah I'm, she looks like adult Clarine right now, so... Yeah. I mean, it still keeps the same idea. You still got the purple cape and the... She looks a lot like yeah. Louise, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She also reminds me of Louise. Yeah, it's true. By the way, that artist is a pseudonym, so don't take that for anything. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, um, as far as what that disc did, sword. yeah, if you she gave you a bunch of right. items if, for a Blazing Blade, if you, uh, If you pre-ordered Mario Kart, <laughs> what the hell? Mario, um, GameCube pre-ordered discs were insane. Between that, um, the Pokemon games gave you free event mo Pokemon, and then, um, Zelda gave you four different Zelda games in one if you pre-ordered. Yeah, I know. My friend had yeah. that. I wanted that so badly. Yeah, it's a really cool game. The Master well, Disc or whatever. Amazing. Yeah, I yeah, have it as well. Anyway. It's really cool. What? You have it? Oh my god, it's worth so much money now. <laughs> it is. It's. I'm so happy I still have that. <laughs> yeah. No. 
It was a different time, let's just say. Pre-order bonuses were a different thing back then. <laughs> yes. All right, chat. So, this feels really, really weird to me because, man, that's going back to... Okay, the GBA days were awesome, but I actually do have a GameCube, and I did, like... Well, I didn't pre-order. My friend pre-ordered uh, Mario Kart. We used to play it for days. I never once saw this, and even if I did, this would be, like, in the back and back of back of my mind. But yeah, there's, uh, there is history here, and this is a real thing. It's just... Feels coming out, feels like it came out of nowhere. All right, really quickly though, let's compare the art. Not that this is really a thing we do, but uh, man, did she change. First of all, does her boobas look way bigger? One yeah. last thing. Can we mention that when you saw Fall Start, you thought of something akin to racing? Yeah, I thought something akin to racing. That's why I was like, False Start, what does this even mean? How could you? But yeah, I, I guess it kind of means. It takes a vacation in Mario Kart. Ah, kind of fake, you know kind of what? Fake. Yeah, that actually has something to do with Mario Kart too. <laughs> if you have a false start, you well, if you screw up your timing, you can um, you well, you get a puff of smoke and you go nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> All right, but yeah, when look, guys. Yeah. Who knew Saint Elmine played dirty when it came to racing? Well, oh, you know what? It's Vicky more said. All right, guys. So if you see. Um, yes, her dress has changed immensely. Wow. You don't really- oh, uh, the necklace is still being featured. I think her boobas got bigger and her entire- The cape takes- is, is apparently a very heavy one because you see how much support it needs. The entire figure is like a lot, uh, more dynamic, I should say. <laughs> more, uh, thick, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as a healer- Refresher. Now, I do think they could have made her a bit better by making her... That's plus speed, right? I I think it should have been something else. I mean, we did... Well, it should have been like a dark mythic, but yeah. No. Not for herself, but like... No. no. Mythic. Honestly, I'm fine with saying it. It's saying how many had to be offense. Um, that's well, I'm fine it. with the yeah, element being off, so I mean the mythic in general from when introduced. Back Astra Mythics insofar... So we've had res, we've had um, attack twice. Oh! Sure. We've had all of them at least once, yeah. Okay. I, mean, for up, specifically. I, I was just so gonna say, I I felt like it made more sense if she was something else because she's most likely gonna be replacing the flames who are backing up Hectors and whatnot, who would yep. prefer more defensive stats, not more speed. Yeah, I mean, that is true, but she does give both defense res buffs and drive def res, so it kind of balances out. Right. Uh, Given that she is fast, the speed is not reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Thank you, chat, for pointing this out. I didn't notice who the voice actress was. Yeah. And I've listened to her covers for years and years and years and years. I'm so surprised I didn't notice. Yeah, that's a <laughs> huge addition to the band. Voice casting is weird these days. With I... Yeah. I mean, I was already for Genshin Impact for Sayu. Um, her voice actress was, uh, crap, why am I, why am I blanking out right now? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me right now, but it's nice to see, like, more, uh, content creators who always say they're, like, um, YouTubers or whatnot, but then, um, uh, they're predominantly, predominantly YouTubers who became, like, voice actors and whatnot, um, actually, like, get, get to, get that to happen. Yeah, it's yeah. Lily Pichu. I don't know why I blanked out, but yeah, so I'm glad. All right, well, with that said, we should go over the hero herself because this hero That's felt a bit a weird. Meta defining unit, if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Okay, so right away, Holy Ground was necessary. Without this, there's no chance to keep up with Flane. And so with this, there's no reason to use Flane anymore because the guaranteed extra stats, extra scoring, and of course, uh, does basically the same thing now. Yeah, occupying a mythic slot is way easier for support than occupying one of your non-mythic slots. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. Holy Ground, 30% damage reduction, and defense was plus 4 to allies during combat, so immediately... I don't... Personally, I'm already sick of seeing, like, Savior Balls. Uh, most of my losses are towards Savior Balls. It's just I can't do enough damage, and the only, reason, only way nowadays to do enough damage is basically... Do you have a tank buster? Have you pulled for a tank buster? Do you have enough merges on said tank buster? So, 
personally not a fan, but I get it. Yeah, with some of the hyper offensive strategies these days, it gets difficult without Savior, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, but I, I would also say ground orders, as useful as it is, I care less and less and less about it. At this point, I'm thinking of like merging my, my, um, oh my God, why am I? You know I'm tired when I blank out names. I had a test yesterday, guys. I didn't get a lot of sleep for that. Um, Fjorm. Yeah. Uh, Bridal Fjorm. I was thinking of merging Bridal Fjorm because originally I kept her for the reasoning of ground orders. She's probably going to be better utilized in the merge. But at this point, I have nobody to use ground orders on. And I don't even think I care anymore about ground orders. I only use it because an arena movement is sparse. I use right. ground orders on my... Uh... Just, yeah, Wintermere Abilis on defense, but yeah, like, yeah, and defense for offense, better. yeah, for offense, it's not very useful. Like, well, actually, do we use on Light Season? I use Ground Order as one of my duo peony to get Ash in easier. Yeah. Though, at least as far as this is concerned, you could always just run Guidance. There's nothing technically wrong with that either. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the, po the point is, I'm not even sure how much you need this in the first po place, but yes, you could just, I mean, her, she has an open seal, and you can put Guidance on it, you can put whatever the heck you want it, but... Personally, I'm not. I don't think the loss of ground orders is a big deal at all. No. Yeah, like, and this is a unit. Like, she's just like the mythics you already have. Crash season already. You make things easy enough. This is to make things like even easier for you. I agree. Yeah. Yep. All right, but her kit is pretty good for a lot of heroes to fodder off. ASR trace plus attackers push four. Pretty legitimate fodder. However, I really wish it was something else. Like attackers push four. We have enough heroes with it. And I don't even think it's valued to begin with. It's not. So I really yeah. she should have gone for Death Res 3, of course, because of her uh, res chuck. She seems like she wants to be offensive, but she isn't. Yeah. And the worst part is with no Rayful Staff, instead of having Far Trace 3, which, by the way, as pointed out earlier, attack speed minus 3, cool, the speed part makes sense, but realistically, they're not attacking packs, so why do you even care about the attack part? It's more about when she gets attacked, but when she's getting attacked, She's most likely covered by saber units anyway, so it's like, okay, so why? So you can actually pad out against mages, so you can actually have a backup plan for them. I know, but it, it's really awful because without the full-on damage, it just doesn't feel like it's a fitting trace skill to have. Well, but it would yeah. be much better to have some if you don't have Rapid still. Rise, Sophia. <laughs> sure, but it would do something. It would be half as effective as having an attack penalty. At least wait, Winter Lysithia. Colors field now is a pretty good thing to have. Oh, wait. No? Yeah, it's it's not like super fast. necessary because basically just need to buy some damage reduction. And like, it's, if that's super necessary, sure, but I don't think it is. I mean, it right. has caused me a lot of grief. I hate fighting Lysithia, so. But Sea Feud is, of course, the hardest counter to these kinds of reductions. Right. And of course, nudge. Everyone knows what it does. Some healing, some movement. Um, basically, yeah. giving your refresher the ability to. Wait, which one is this? Shove. Sho uh, it's shove. Oh man. Sure. Yep. I, I guess you can push them forward and just retreat. I, I get that idea. It's not at smite, but considering healers currently don't have smite, and nudge is close enough. Hey, it's isn't Nudge on a on the banner right now? Yeah. Uh, With Hilda? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hilda's okay, <laughs> that's funny. All right, but the more important thing is Staff of the Saint, which, you know, foe cannot counterattack. At start turn, defense runs plus six to allies on two spaces of unit for one turn. Inflicts false start on foes in car and direction of unit with less res. And that's the big thing, because false start takes away their abilities that trigger a start of turns. So this actually covers a lot of things nowadays because of how it works. Yeah. So p anything as small as like, I don't know, Duma's uh, catapult. Wait, is yeah, that actually like, locked? Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, or like Odor's before. Brutal Shell, for example. Yeah, Brutal Shell, Upheaval. Um, Wait a second, I just realized this actually breaks the double catapult setups then. Mm. I mean, it's you, you if, if they use guest catapult on your catapult, this isn't gonna work on a catapult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Imagine yeah. she shuts down catapult. <laughs> You're not throwing that stone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not debuffing structures. It does okay. definitely make uh, Duma less valuable, though. Which but yeah, very long. 
to be but yeah i mean the super saber balls would rely on um removing your bolt tower yeah this could actually cut a shot shut it down if they guess right yep it's definitely gonna make catapult a little harder yuri would I'll be dead if it were for the fact that you don't use them in defense in the first place yeah no one uses yuri in defense sigurd however Sigurd's that now is that. doubly countered i can't believe in one month they released two units meant to shut him down I mean, Reeve is better, I'd say, than St. Elmine, because all Sigurd loses is one movement, as opposed to the uh, three movement. With Ah, uh, uh, that's true, that's true. But it still breaks him. Yeah, and considering that that's just one thing, as opposed to that being the only thing Reeve can do, not exactly a bad thing. Yeah, I think Brawl Catra is the biggest one, chat. Yeah, um, right, that's the thing that shut down. Dead. Defense, Unless you have Odd Even Recovery, which, by the way, in itself is unreliable nowadays because it can't yeah. uh, save defense. Um, no one uses Yuri on defense right. I'd rather just use both. And then but, also, uh, yeah, if you hit the Recoverer with the Odd or Even thing while you also hit, like, if there's somehow... What? What? what Sorry, that cut off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. So yeah, if you hit, if you somehow manage to hit both the recoverer with Odd or Even Recovery and then Bride Catria, yeah, nothing's gonna happen for both of them because yeah, obviously if you hit the recoverer, they get neutralized too. Yeah, Odd or Even Recovery will objectively count. This is nothing stopping that. Same with um, Sarah. But those are the only three ways you can currently stop these kinds of isolationist effects. So if you don't have those, or if they just manipulate the turns around you, Bride Catria can just be shut down completely. And okay. I don't think do. I don't think a broad catcher team can afford to go recovery anyways, so mm -hmm. no. They need all the offense they can get. So the fact that you don't it's not even just that you stop the warping, which is what gatekeeper can do. It's that you stop the triangle attack from ever even being possible. And that's devastating to those teams because at that point, Catria is just an X flyer. Nothing else. You know what? I'm being more most more sold on this character just from the fact of false start. Yep. You're going to hate it, Nims, because I assume you have Ascended Fjorm on your defense, right? Uh, um, Hardy Fighter will get shut down technically. Yeah. I have Ascended Fjorm, Bridal Catria, and Brave Alm. I think I hate it already, yeah. Yeah, so like once they, uh, they false start your Fjorm turn one, then they move to like Catria or Alm the turn next turn. <laughs> yeah, they can do that. That's I mean, so dumb. Is, if the first hit doesn't kill Fiorm, she just has it on the second hit. Unless, you know... You have guard, yeah. That. But it's still not gloom and doom for those of one cooldown um, ice mirrors. Okay, well, I hate this, and I'm, um, I'm not glad of anything. <laughs> so there you go. I use Katria, but I'll just switch her over to dark. <laughs> Keep her yeah. out of Astro season. Um, anima Be season, rather. Because honestly, the way I see it now, it's so easy winning. Because if you just run a Senate Fjorm, and presuming they don't have a tank buster capable of breaking her, and then you run a close saver hero, and then you just run four mythics, how do you lose? Pretty much. Four I mythics, mean, including run, uh, Elim. Yep. You could just run triple mythic, too, with like a super support for like range tanking, such as um, triple distant guard. But you, AA, you do like realize like how much support they have at this point. If you run Elim with Ashera, you got no panic, extra stats from her, extra yep. stats from uh, Staff of the Saint and yep. Holy Ground as well. Like yep. you, the, the save your balls you can make at this point on uh, Astro Season is going to be pretty ridiculous. And then you can have Aura as your damage dealer. Like, come on. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that'd be funny. You use two different kinds of heroes um, of your. But yeah, good luck breaking those safe balls with that triangle attack anymore. It's not to say it's impossible. There are still units like Lice of the Air, for example, that are going to have a pretty easy time, or relatively easy time. But triangle Wait, attack. Wait, on what? Sure. When it comes to breaking through certain saves, something like Lysithia stopping. Uh, I I don't even see her that often, but honestly, um, I I often. I'd be pretty happy to fight her, because you can shut that down in various ways. I mean, I mean, again, I get to I get to make the choice of which team to deploy. They don't. If they're gonna guess yeah. Lysithia, if they're gonna use Lysithia, it probably opens things up for other teams. This is true. It just means that those kinds of things St. Elmine would be less effective with dealing with, as opposed to triangle tech status. Yeah. All right, guys. 
for obvious reasons, I think this is a very well recommended poll. It would yep. make your Astro Seasons such a ease, to be honest. Everybody yeah. could use her support. Extra speed, 30% yeah. damage reduction, extra defensive stats. Everyone can use that support. Hey, even if you're going for offensive kinds of maneuvers, having the ability to shut down at start of turn effects can be very good for um, easing pressure. Like, as far as pursuits go, somebody chasing you down. Or even just like certain visible buffs that you don't want to have to deal with. That could also be quite nice to shut down. Right. All because of how widespread false start is, it's gonna be pretty subjective to the map as to what it actually does to that team. But it always will. But, well. but it's hard to imagine someone can't use this. I mean, uh, there's a chance a team doesn't use anything that false start pertains to, but even then, she's a good support unit. So. Yep. I mean, at the end of the day, you have a healer, and I don't think people. I think some people don't realize, at least I don't, how valuable it is to have healing sometimes. Like, that is huge to have in certain circumstances. Okay. As opposed to a healing tower. Yeah, I mean, I... Don't you use healing tower? I do, but it gets catapulted. And that's when I rely on playing. Okay, uh, I don't ever really care about healing. But yes, it does matter, because there are... There are engagements where it becomes necessary. Yeah. So that's literally at the minimum. You get a healer, and that's not exactly a common thing to f fulfill in an ether raid setting. You can say she eliminates the lack of healing in ether. In ether? Oh, for... Yeah, I guess, because up to this point we haven't had a mythic of healing, so... Yeah, uh, well, there is air. Uh, well, it's 10 Aries HP, but I oh sure. Well, she's gonna knock on wood, get remixed soon, right? Maybe they'll improve that, maybe. We'll see Actually, what happens next this week. this is the first time that we have something since Hardy bearing that straight up disables skills. Mystic boost and fatal smoke just disables certain effects of a skill. Impenetrable dark. Ah, true, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I just got yeah. feud skills. Let's uh, let's go over the banner because I'm not even sure Carlos is the strongest. In my opinion, I do think Green is stronger because I value Fjorm immensely, and Itri is not a joke. Neither is Odor, so I think that's the still straight up stronger color. But Carlos is no joke either because Claude is one of the most ridiculous heroes in the game. Ashura with Lean would be pretty ridiculous to deploy together. But yeah, personally, I still have Carlos. I don't have Carlos first. I have Green first. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd say that's a little tough for me. I'd prefer colorless personally, just because I already have all the green units. Well, yeah. I guess... Mm, well, part of it is also that Fjorm can be gotten more reliably than colorless units. But from the pure unit quality standpoint... Yeah, I guess I could say green's better, especially since Otur and Ichri are both useful beyond just... They're all good in summoner duels, those three. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's a summoner duels team right there. Whereas none of these colorless units are especially good there, except maybe Elmi. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's an overall very strong banner because green and colorless is amazing, but the rest isn't bad either. Because for blue, I love Peony being there. I mean, she's super old now, but everyone uses her. So more scoring on light season is nice. And Happy is probably one of the most reliable tank busters you can get right now. Uh, I don't yeah. expect her to like one shot like Vector or something, but she'll weaken him enough that another unit should be able to get the kill. So she's a really good like, and she will devastate uh, Edo guards because she's effective against them. But yeah, that's a very strong unit, and Julia's never been like that much of a slouch either. But I do think she's the weaker one on blue. Likewise, I think um, Self is the weaker one on red. So it's really interesting how it goes. Yeah, although on the other hand, Constance is not bad. By any stretch, and Volka, I don't have to say anything about. They're probably yeah. going to be putting Volk on the anniversary Hero Fest, because that's probably why he skipped over Malice for the rerun. Uh, huh. Oh, yeah, so they can get him. And these rules are weird. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, if it's your first Fjorm ever sparking for. By the way, this is Sparkable Chat. Which, which color. Who would you spark for? If but I, I think were to spark, it would be yeah. the same. I mean, me too. Wow. 
You guys are that soul boner. Okay. Or a tree. You know me. Of course I'm I mean, boner. you're a glue eater, so I understand. <laughs> For me, it's not as big of a deal because, you know, I don't really run. I mean, I do have Saber Team on Astro Seasons, but I, I rarely use it. I just like to be able to have one of my slots taken back by a mythic instead of using Flay all the time. Fair enough. And yeah, I do think this is better. By the way, I feel bad for Flayne. Not that bad. Flayne's been around for two something years, right? So. Uh, just over a year. Wait, is it? Just over a year? It feels like yeah, two. Be a year and like a half. Or not yeah, even a half, less than half. Like four months. She wow. Came out in September of 2020. Wait a second. That's a really fast power creep then. For effect that we thought wouldn't be able to be well, power creep. Well, mythic versus a normal hero. To be fair. Wait, uh, how? What, what's the to be fair here? <laughs> to be fair, mythics should be better than normal heroes. Yes, but, but that's yeah. the entire point of her. To be the damage reduction hero. I mean, she hits yeah. harder, I guess, but who really values that that much? I think I might full pull on this banner just because I don't think... I I think the two weakest heroes are just the two legendaries, um, Inself and Julia. Yeah. Everybody else is very valuable. Like I think people like will value Constance, for example, but she's a really, really strong red mage. It's kind of funny. Constance um, is still absolutely fine. She's just not an upgrade on Violet to the point, to a Violet, right. to the point where you need her. Right, but virtually every other unit, I think I can use another one or the first copy of one. Yep. And to say the very least, far fodder is fantastic here. Yeah, uh, of course, but there's a lot of impacts on this banner, actually. Okay, officially, when's the anniversary banner or the stuff's going to be revealed for the Fae Channel? Anniversary channel should be on the first. All right, so I don't recommend anyone pull for this just yet. I would wait and see what we're getting for Hero Fest at the very least. Yeah. Will you pull on the Legendary Hero female Violet banner? I don't think he's ever going to change this. I think Frenzy's just given up on changing this part of these surveys. So just ignore that part, chat. But yes, I'm going to pull for every one of them on the banner. I think I'm full pulling because a spark here. I mean, if I can get two. Uh, I'll even say her right name. Eleems. Elemean. 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 It's oh, man. It's so weird for me. I am. But yeah, if I can get two, because otherwise I can't pull for her because I have way too many merges on Astro Seasons. And then a spark would really help, so. I, already I think have I'm pulling. on my Plumerian Thor, or not my Plumerian Thor, my Plumerian Regan. So she'd be like the third mythic slot I pull in, I put in, which is like the unmerged slot. My so I'm probably not going to go for her. Socket merges, so <laughs> anything is good right now. All right. Hopefully, Fallen Anokar will not be on HR. <laughs> I'm going to be personally voting for her there, so I don't think that's going to happen. I, I think she's going to make it in. Honestly, I don't even care if Fallen Anokar makes it at this point. I got enough I can do it anyway. And I, 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 it makes it easier to skip. I, I want to show you guys a battle later. Um, I saw it, and I was just like, wow. But I'll show you guys a battle later. Anyways, um... The two joke options. I don't play Faye, therefore I win. Kappa, congrats. No, but I'm still struggling to get all 200 deliveries in FGO event because yes, fair enough. All right, chat. What be the votes? 36 responses. 50% are saving. Wow. Straight 50. The saving for another banner. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I kind of thought. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's a really, really rough time to use orbs. A hero rises might be the most important thing. I might I might take it back to be honest. Because I'm not unless I pull two of her, I really can't deploy her without losing points. You're losing a point, but also some teams are so ridiculous with those that start a combat turn buffs. Having that backup plan might be useful. Mm. But for me, I, I want like another Fjorm, for example, or another uh E tree or something like there's a lot of units that are just a lot of fun to use yeah i absolutely agree and at the bare minimum if you do pull blue then peony merges are always going to be useful always right um actually that's probably the biggest one because my light season team has only like two merges whereas my astro Same. season team has like five or something 
Yeah, my light team. I now I have plus two Ash, but my light's not much better than my Astra. They're both low merge. Right, I use plus two Ash, plus two Air. That's all I got. Plus sorry, plus one, one Ash, air. plus one Air. Sorry. Yeah, plus one um, Peony, Regan, Plumeria, and then plus two Ash. It's not great. And then I have plus six Hell and plus six Sothis. Like. I, I know. Defensively, it's it's. I don't know why that happens, but it, that's what I hear from a lot of people. Ugh, it's useless. <laughs> All right, chat. So most of you guys are saying there's about 60, 66 percent of you guys are not pulling essentially, and then predominantly going for colorless, and then predominantly going for everything, is what it looks like. So yeah. Anyways, that's your banner. It's it really does feel like it came out of nowhere. I do think this banner is going to have virtually no hype to it, though.